That's right. They say you socked a nigga in the club one night, Mike. Man, I think the drugs they socked the nigga. And I was coming. I look. Remember this shit? This was to be the bomb. Don't play with my yo yo. Yo yo was bad in the motherfucker. And she was ghetto fine. With them braids? She done got married to some old sorry ass nigga, man. Don't you hate to see him? What's that? I want that. Go to waste, are you? If you don't know, you won't know. You inside the show where everything goes when it comes to hoes because pimping ain't easy. I'm your host with the most. Finding Nemo, a.k.a. Nemo Hoes, and today my special guest is the one and only Mike motherfucking Epps. With one hoe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what my wife did hear that. Well, what you been on? I ain't been on nothing, Snoop. Just uh, running around cracking jokes from city to city, titty to titty. So you back on your stand-up? Yeah, I'm back on my stand-up. Uh, the last movie I was in, I, I played a black guy in The Hangover again. They, Hire me as a nigga again. Because <laughs> they know you know how to play. A nigga. A nigga. <laughs> we need a nigga. Call my guy. <laughs> Call the <laughs> Oh, Snoop. These are good niggas. And one of these niggas will do. If you can't get Mike, get Snoop. Because these are some niggas. These are some nigga playing niggas. Man. So, Mike, uh -huh. you've been known for playing real characters that just stand out in movies like, like Day Day and Next Friday, right. Baby Powder and How High. Satin and Sparkle. What which was your favorite character for you just to like just say, you know what, I had the most fun playing this character right here? I think that uh All About the Benjamins was probably the most That was hard. Freest one. Y'all shot that the, in Miami, right? Shot that in Miami. They had you uh Trying Man to steal the ticket from the, uh, the bitch and all the that. Lottery shit. ticket, yeah. yeah. That was some crazy shit. Yeah, she was a bad bitch. Y'all actually made Ooh. the bitch. You know that, right? I, I told her, and the bitch didn't believe me. She, she just wasn't cheated off that in that the club. Yeah. I said, bitch, I made you. That bitch is gone. That bitch skeeted all through the club quick. I say that same shit about Kevin Hart, little ass. <laughs> nigga, I made you, nigga. <laughs> you You're ain't so plain, nigga. Don't act like that. He did, here, nigga. huh? I made you, nigga. Yep. Don't forget where you came from, nigga, because you the hottest little thing right now, you little piece of black shit. Yeah. Come on the show, nigga. I'm tired of asking you through your people, He nigga. won't come on the Fuck show. Fuck your people, nigga. Get your black ass down here and come get on the show, nigga. He'll be back, man. He's just on the cloud right now. All niggas come back. <laughs> <laughs> right. When are you going to do your own movie? Because you dope enough to create your own shit. I'm, I'm not talking about just a stand-up movie. I'm talking about a real fucking movie that you do. Well, you the nigga that you don't get killed, you fuck Produce all the direct. bitches, you beat everybody Every, up in the, yeah. in the movie. Produce, direct, everything. I, I, I got one right, I got one in my hand right now called Not So Mr. Nice Guy. That I'm, it's amazing that you said it. It, it. it took me up to all these years to get enough confidence to feel like it's time for me to do my own because I always been, uh, you know, Ice Cube side guy mm -hmm. and all these different people's uh, you know, support. You're a great supporting actor. Yeah. But now you're ready to be the motherfucking lead because a lot of times you understand that when you support a nigga, you get more accolades than the nigga that you lead because your characters. I always hated the lead guy. For That's real? Why I just never, like that. I did. I, I have. Even since, ever since I was a kid and uh, when they had a long, uh, long, 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 long ranger, ranger and, and I, Tonto. I hated long ranger. You I like your Tonto, fuck, right? Yeah. I, was I like, did too. Fuck I fucked with the Indian ranger. too. I, I didn't give a fuck about I want him to get killed. Every week this nigga would live, no matter what. I'm like, <laughs> motherfucker killed, man. Yeah, so now I'm I'm you know, I'm building my confidence up to say, you know what, now it's time to plus I'm getting old in the motherfucker. My window is closing this big. I don't, I was, I don't think not, so. When I say old, when I say old, I'm saying Snoop like old in a way where, you know, because I, I watched that white dude, what's his name? Uh, uh, and I don't mean to say white, black shit. But that's but, what color the nigga is. Yeah, the white motherfucker. Uh, 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 Will Ferrell. Oh, yeah. For many years, Will Ferrell was just a dude that was right funny there. in the old school movies and shit. He really wasn't the star. Then that motherfucker came out and hit him with that uh, uh, Talladega Nights. Oh, Bo Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. And he went on a roll. He did go on a roll because you, I hear what you're saying. He was a nigga that was just a regular. Yeah. In the movie, had a cold, cool little, small little part. And he was like, fuck it, I'm doing my own movies. See, and I also learned from you too, Big Snoop Dogg. For a real? Lot, yeah, a lot, a lot about in this business because you taught me how to say, I don't give a fuck. And sometimes when you don't give a fuck, it make everybody love you. 
You know that what I mean? The and as soon as a motherfucker catch you caring, they say fuck you. They take your kindness for weakness when you care. Right. So a lot of times you do have to flex your muscle like I don't give a fuck. And it ain't to be mean, it's just you to be. You never gave a fuck. And, and, no, and whatever come to your mind, they say, he sloop lying. What the fuck is that? I said, he got a cure. I bet something to it. His ass go. <laughs> and guess what? You always come out on it. Mm-hmm. Who's a white comedian that you think is dope, that you respect, that you feel got fly jokes that's on the level of a nigga? Um, it's a chick named uh, what, Lisa Lampanelli. Lamp- oh, you, I like her too, oh, with the big pussy. Boy, the big yeah, Lisa pussy. Lampanelli. Uh, yeah. That's the bitch, the that, one who that, uh, a football team fucked her one night. <laughs> Southern University, all niggas, and the band. Went in the pussy all at one time. <laughs> Marching band, goals, everything went in the <laughs> Lisa Lampanelli, shout out to her pussy. Yeah. The biggest thing in the world. <laughs> Imagine if me and you both was animated as a cartoon, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like live and direct, like. Hey, boo-boo, let me get another picnic basket. <laughs> no, <man. laughs> That's just what you bitch you. I ain't never seen you on those um, those roasts I was on. I did a couple of roasts for Comedy Central. Right. I've never seen you on there. And they asked to roast me Boy. and Puff Daddy. I'm like, I'm not doing it to Puff Daddy do it because he's a little older than me, so let him go first. How they did Puff Daddy yet? He ain't accept yet. Oh, you can do it. You can I do will, it. but I don't think I'm ready yet. I think I need about another year or two. To get ready, because boy, I'm telling you, you go. Niggas gonna go hard. Yeah, because it's really, I think a roast is really just... <laughs> Bagging I mean, on your ass? Yeah, it's either, it's, you're gonna learn who your real friends is and who you're gonna wanna whoop afterwards. <laughs> Look, check this out. Why, my first roast was the Flavor Flav roast. I'm sitting up there. I've seen that motherfucker right, there. right there. No, I'm sitting up here with him right on the stage. The nigga mama in the front row. Somebody told his mama this was a real award show for him. Yeah. So she watching, she watching thinking that they finna be praising him. They getting up there talking shit. That nigga mama about to the third comedian. That nigga mama did like this. She grabbed, she, hey Mike, she grabbed her first. She did like this. And rolled up out of there. I'm like, that's fucked up. I can't believe they were saying this shit about her baby. Right in front of her though. She, Fuck him up, huh? Man, they was fucking him up. Nigga said that nigga like a piece of shit that got flushed down the toilet that came back that won't go down. They was going hard on this nigga, man. His mother man. thought it was a real, real. She thought it was, the, you know, the inauguration of going to the Hall of Fame or some shit. She had a nice little white dress on sitting up there. I said, that's fucked up. Uh, give her the details, huh? No, nah, that was fucked up. Uh, <laughs> that's some crazy shit right there. I would do a roast any day as long as the niggas from my real neighborhood ain't involved in Because <laughs> them niggas going to say the shit that I'm going to say, cut the gun. <laughs> 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 them <laughs> niggas said the real <laughs> niggas from the hood the can't come. You really thought you gonna say the shit that you gonna, whoa, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker here. Mm-mm. Let's do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> I do that whole motherfucking thing like this. We'll be back in a moment with more GGN. Now we're rolling. Okay, the weather in Charleston, it's, re- it's very hot and wet outside. <laughs> Humid. Um, so should I start? Like it's hot and humid, as you can tell. It's gonna be raining, but no, it doesn't need to be serious. Um, I don't know. What should I say? Same. All right, I'll go. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll start. So, <laughs> the weather in Charleston, as you can tell, it's gonna be very hot and very humid. It's gonna make you wanna take all your clothes off, <laughs> go naked to the beach. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm spreading suntan lotion over my whole body because I have to protect my beautiful skin. What? Like I got this shit on here called, uh, we call it everyday people or mm-hmm. real nigga shit. Yeah, yeah. What's the first thing you do or what's the first thing you think when you wake up? 
Do like Junebug, pole vault out of bed with your dick. <laughs> <laughs> pole vault out of it. <laughs> I think the I, I ain't gonna lie. I think I think the first like uh, as I get older, the first thing that I think is God didn't gave me another day on this rotten ass planet. <laughs> That's a great thought. He's like, jeez, this is a, how I'm gonna get through this motherfucker today. Do you usually fill your gas tank all the way, or do you ride around on E? Keep it 100. Shit, I forget that I have a gas tank. I didn't, I didn't stop in the middle of damn uh, La Cienega and a Rolls Royce with no gas. My folks <laughs> riding past laughing, taking pictures and shit. <laughs> I swear I did. That shit happened to me. In a Rolls Royce? In a Rolls Royce, boy. I was embarrassed as hell. What's your favorite all-time pair of shoes? My favorite all-time pair in, of in shoes. In the whole world, favorite, nigga. I, I, I got to say that Felines was my first pair, motherfucker. Damn, boy, you got them on, too. That's crazy. You hear me? Gangsta shit. Do you put your pants on first? Then your socks or your socks then your pants? Shit, uh, I really don't notice that shit. You don't? Hell no. I think I... I don't either, but I'm going to think, what did I do I, today? I think I put my socks on first. It feel weird slipping my pants on with no damn socks. What about if you just got some hot, steamy, wet, wet. dripping <laughs> head? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Who are some of your influences, Mike? Some of them, um, entertainment-wise? Yeah, just in general, just like, you know, I was inspired by Max Julian, uh, Magic Johnson, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm yeah. inspired by a bunch of different motherfuckers, not just one one realm. Definitely Richard Pryor, that motherfucker. The baddest nigga to ever tell a joke. Tur that nigga fucked my life up and made it good. <laughs> <laughs> he made a nigga want to be like him yeah. all the way, huh? Like, oh, I want to do whatever man. Richard Pryor do what I'm doing. Richard Pryor. He fuck with white women, I want some white women. Yep. <laughs> and believe it or not, uh, Dr. J, I used to love Dr. Nigga, J. I love Dr. I'm J. I'm a diehard Laker, but I love that nigga, man. I just couldn't stand him when they played us, but that nigga was the shit as a kid. He, he that nigga was, be dunking on niggas, a nigga hair was pretty, be flying in the... See, niggas don't play like that. Niggas he cutting their hair. He dress good and shit. He dressed like a real, not like these weirdos at the NBA be dressing oh, like. Oh, them niggas ain't Little dressed. ass pants and shit. Yeah, nigga what, had some pants what, that came up to here. Where did that shit come from, man? Look like Marsha Brady or some shit. <laughs> like, nigga, hold on, nigga, get your game together, man. I understand European fashion, nigga, but damn. Man, they, I, they, I, I, they had, uh, 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 Wessel, Wessel Westbrook. Westbrook and one of the mother players, they was, they arms was, was <laughs> holding up like this and they was rolling through. They put the, the camera down on their shoes. Them niggas had the shoes with the wheels <laughs> on the bottom of them. Them niggas was rolling in the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, that nigga rolling the game like that. Yeah, that nigga rolling the game. Some L.A. gears. Some of them lights was blinking on them nigga's shoes at the bottom. You NBA niggas, let me tell y'all. Come holler at me, man. We get, get y'all a fashion makeover, a real fashion makeover. Take you niggas to the swap meet to the fashion center. Get y'all niggas some pro clubs and some dickies. 501, that shit would be that funny nature. as hell to see one of them niggas coming to the game with, with a real pair of dickies and a t-shirt on. <laughs> or a slingshot. With a <laughs> slingshot with some cheap headphones, not the Beats by Dre niggas, some ghetto ass headphones, nigga, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where's the real niggas at in the NBA? Come on now, stand up somebody. Somebody stand up, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> now some of them niggas be sharp though. Some of them niggas do be sharp. I gotta hear which one that is. Yeah, but them up, Dwayne Wade, boy, if you don't take off them little Easter pants, <laughs> them, 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 them damn coochie cutters. Man, 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 them niggas didn't wear European on me, that man. That damn LeBron, he, he went crazy last night. He snatched his wig off. I ain't never seen him with that headband you on. You see that? That nigga had a George <laughs> Jefferson. That nigga, well, we moving on. <laughs> I'm like, that nigga got a Sherman Hemsley, nigga. He couldn't find his wristband. I mean, to put it back on. He's like, LeBron, where is it? I don't know. Where is it? The timeout is over with. <laughs> he got to wash his face way up here and come down. 
soap way up here. That, that motherfucker, motherfucker right there, LBJ. LBJ. Coldest in the game. He right is, now. ain't he? Yeah. But I like the basketball series right now. You know, I'm a diehard Laker fan, so I can really right. enjoy it and just be happy. Hopefully, Tim Duncan then win it so his old ass can retire Boy, and we can dominate the West again. That motherfucker, that's a quiet assassin. Ain't he? he he's got the quietest six rings I've ever seen in the fucking world. <laughs> I mean, where did you get the rings? We didn't see you get them. <laughs> They on his hand. Can we see him? That motherfucker show you his rings like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how he show you his rings like this. <laughs> he wipes the snow off. <laughs> Mike, I got this thing called finish the sentence. I'm going to start it. You finish it. All right. I hate it when niggas talk too much. <laughs> if I could work with anybody, I would work with. Uh. Uh, Kim Kardashian's little sister. <laughs> the cute one? Yeah, the cute one. <clears throat> Not the one Lamar go with, right? No, the little one. They would want to go with the weirdo? Yeah. She looked like she trying to find some time to sneak off from his <laughs> She trying to get away. <laughs> get away. If I could see anybody perform live, dead or alive, I'd want to see. Tupac. I look for blank and a woman. Uh, the truth. If I wasn't a comedian, I'd be in prison. Get blank or blank. Get uh, get blank or blank. Uh huh. Get rich or shit. Just enjoy what you got. <laughs> Church, preach, tabernacle.